So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the ultimate guide on how to have your best school year yet because we love romanticizing our life, academia. You've come to the perfect place because I'm going to give you a ton of advice on how you can look cute at school, make friends, be confident, get straight A's, all of that sort. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first point that I have here is fashion and beauty because obviously this is very important for us girly girls. We like to present ourselves well and if we look good, then we feel good. Your looks totally do not define who you are, but for me, dressing up, doing my hair, wearing a cute outfit, wearing jewelry really makes my whole day a hundred times better. My first tip would be to pick out your outfit the night before because in a lot of situations, you're rolling out of bed in the morning and you don't really have time to properly pick out a good outfit for yourself. But if you pick your outfit out the night before then you can guarantee it's something cute and that you'll like wearing make sure your hygiene is in check you don't want to walk around school smelling really bad you want to smell good you want to look presentable not really looking sweaty or greasy have a go-to signature hairstyle typically something that won't take long in the morning especially when you're in a rush and something that you can always fall back on if you're not feeling super experimental just a solid hairstyle that you know you look good in just wear whatever kind of makeup makes you feel best a lot of times I'll hear people say wear simple makeup to school and if you feel good in simple makeup definitely do that but if you feel better wearing a fuller face of makeup do that as well do whatever will make you happy because again everybody's different all right your bag this is where you carry all of your most important stuff I would say always make sure you're prepared you never know what you may need so just some things to keep in your backpack this could be period supplies gum deodorant lip gloss earbuds also make sure that you have proper places to store each of your notes this could be for different classes, just a separate folder, maybe separate binder, tabs, or notebook so that you're not throwing everything in there at once and getting everything all jumbled up. Do not be stuffing any kind of scrap paper in your bag or wrappers or anything. This stuff accumulates and it will make your backpack smell disgusting. Nobody wants to be digging around in their messy backpack with stuff falling out of it in the middle of class. As for friends and socializing, trust me when I say that it is okay to be alone for the first few days. If it takes you a little bit longer than others to make friends, that is okay. There's absolutely no shame in that. I also wanna let you know that most people are very, very nice and they will let you sit next to them if you ask. As for making friends, a surefire way to be able to start a conversation with them is to either compliment them, also just ask them a question about the class or even if you could borrow a pencil. You need to be confident, even if you're not confident in yourself you can fake it and trust me you're gonna feel so much better people in general are really attracted to confidence so they're going to want to be around you don't be worried if you don't have classes with your friends because you are going to make new friends and that's probably the best thing because then you're just making more and more friends and expanding your group so stay optimistic about it you're gonna find your people in time if your school allows phones please 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 try not to be on it so much because you will miss so many opportunities to present yourself to people just stay engaged with your group your table mates try to act and appear friendly this can be making sure that your body language isn't giving off the wrong vibe to people if you're crossing your arms if you have a frown on your face or just generally looking disinterested people might be turned off from coming up to you and introducing themselves because you are giving off the vibe that you don't want them to and you just want to be alone my last tip is to take classes that match your interests this can be electives this can be clubs joining teams maybe auditions for choir or the play or band because if you do this you are literally immersing yourself into a group of people that have your exact same interests okay in class please always pay attention to the teacher take notes and be polite because you want to leave a good impression on them especially if you're in high school you may want to ask them for a letter of recommendation so always make sure that you have a good and open relationship with your teacher ask questions or for help if needed if you don't feel confident enough to raise your hand during class to ask a question in front of everybody that is a-okay I wouldn't say I've ever been that type of person and I turned out fine hopefully so you don't have to do it during class but please never hold a question in or if you're confused on anything just privately go up to your teacher maybe at the end of class or during their office hours to ask them that question and get some needed clarification teachers literal job is to help students learn and grow so they should not be thrown a bit really nothing to be afraid of there take your notes in color this will for one make you so much more engaged when you're taking the notes in general but then also as you're going back to study words will stand out on the page better always start on assignments the minute that you get 
get them, please don't put them off. There's no point in it because you're gonna be doing it anyway. Get them out of the way so you can just completely forget about it. Help others if you're struggling. This will not only put you out there as someone people can rely on, but will also present you as a very kind, helpful, and caring person. If you are able to listen to music in school, make your own playlist. This can match your different vibes or aesthetics that you're trying to emulate because we want to curate a good mood here. Also, for if there's any free time during class, bring a book to read. You look super smart. Purchase cute stationery or planners to keep yourself motivated with organizing all of your work and taking notes. Okay, we are now into advice for studying and getting good grades. My first tip is to make sure whatever space you're studying in is clean and organized. This is gonna motivate you a hundred times more and you're gonna be so much more productive than if you're trying to study at a messy desk with trash everywhere. It's just not a good environment for your mind to be working at its best. Switch up whatever study environment you typically study in. So for instance, if you normally study at home, go to a coffee shop, go to the library, even study outside. Listen to classical or lo-fi music. I find that classical or lo-fi is really relaxing and the beats are calming, soothing, and just great for focus. You can also watch real-time study with me on YouTube. There are so many of these. They have the little timer in the corner and typically they come with music as well. They're a nice aesthetic background and it can motivate you a lot more if you're studying with another person, even if it's just through the screen. Practice self-discipline. Your work is going to have to be done, so why not do it now? Your relaxation time will be a lot more relaxing if you already have the weight of everything that you have to do off your chest. Say affirmations to make yourself and force it into your mind that you are confident in your abilities. I'm gonna place them on the screen so that you can screenshot real quick. But yeah, in general, affirmations are very good. Your mind is gonna believe whatever you tell it, so why not tell it good things? Define your goals. These can be short-term, these can be long-term, really whatever, but make sure you know what you're working towards. If you're working towards nothing specific in mind, then you don't really have a subconscious motivation for you to finish your work, try to get good grades. You need to know what you want to accomplish, keeping your goal in mind as you're going through the thick of it with all your assignments and studying for tests can really help you push through. And the biggest tip of them all is to please choose a character. This can be Rory Gilmore, Hermione Granger, Blair Waldorf, really any of them. If you have a favorite character that has a nice aesthetic that you want to try and copy, do that. I promise it's going to make everything so much more fun. Pretend that you are them studying for your exams. If you choose Hermione, for instance, imagine that you are in the Gryffindor common room studying by the fire. The last thing is to please make sure that you are incorporating balance into your life. It can be so stressful now that we're getting getting back into the school year and when an exam season starts to come up, but making sure that you have enough balance between rest and school slash work in your life is crucial for keeping your sanity. I know our culture is so obsessed with productivity and everything, but it is just as important to make sure to take care of yourself. So try to take weekends off if possible. Maybe you study for an hour, but have a set time that you stop work because getting burned out is no fun. And that's what the weekend is for, to help you recuperate and prepare yourself to enter a new week. I have some weekend ideas for you. My first thing would be try a new workout class or go to the gym because again, exercise is one of the best things you can do for yourself. It really helps boost your endorphins and makes you more confident with yourself. So trying out a new class, maybe going with a friend could be something you could try out. Having a spa or self care night, going to the movies or out with friends in general, trying a new local coffee shop or restaurant. You could listen to new podcasts and explore nature like going on a hike. You can also clean your room to prep and re set for the week. I typically like to do this on Sundays. Just make sure I have everything together. But just in general, even through the school week as well, make sure that you have relaxing night routines and cut off your work at a specific point in the evening so that you can set aside enough time to make for yourself. Ultimately, your mindset determines your experience. If you go into this new school year with a negative attitude, it's probably not going to be the best year. But if you have a positive attitude, tell yourself this is going to be a great year. I'm going to make such good grades. I'm going to make so many friends. I'm going to try new things things and get out of my comfort zone, then guess what? you will. Whatever energy you're putting into this situation is what you're going to get back out. Everything's going to work out in your favor and you got it. Please don't ever try to be someone else just because you think that'll make people like you better. You're going to find the people who like you for you and everything is going to be okay. With all that being said, I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video. I hope that my advice could help you a little bit and I know that we will all have a great year together. I love you all so, so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye.